Guys, good news. They are finally bringing Java to Codecademy. This is the first language I ever really learned. I did a little bit of Visual Basic, but I consider Java my first official language. We're going to be learning the fundamentals of Java programming. It's just the introduction. We're going to, of course, do this whole course. Java is the main language I, I've been taught in, so I'm very excited that they're doing this. So let's go ahead and get started in our introduction to Java, introduction to Java. So what do we need to know? First off, that how, how does Java work? In this case, you see a public class, your name. This is kind of the just you always have to kind of have a class and you always have to have a main method. So this public static void main string args is our main method. What this means is this is where we call our initialization. Our init to initialize our code, whatever it is, you always have to have it almost for most things. Um, System.out.println is how we print out. The system kind of refers to uh, the system object that's kind of innately built in there. So we're going to go ahead and print out Gilberto. So what we should get is Gilberto up top. Nice. So uh, type any whole number in the parentheses. Pr print out. So let's go ahead and print out 10, which is a whole integer. So we don't need to, f by us just putting an int in, it automatically reads it as an int. Um, type of All right, so we'll just put true. So this is going to print out the true value. So meaning that we can go ahead and print out, like if we get a Boolean, we can print it out from a variable. This is how you print out a character. So this is all kind of simple, or a char as they call it. So if you need just a char, it's a, that's how you do characters. So all right, now we're going to initialize some variables. So you can see right here, um, one of the things about Java is you have to declare your variables. Like for instance, int my number, int is its type, so it's an integer. Uh, my number, we're gonna set that to 42. Uh, boolean is a boolean and we have to set is fun equal to I guess just check this off as we go and my number is equal to 42 boolean is fun is equal to true and char movie rating is equal to a so let's go ahead and do like that let's run our code run it again I guess and again, to get all three check marks, that's kind of weird, but hey. So this is it's pretty it's pretty intuitive, at least for me. So the given code is poorly formatted. System so out on line five is easier to read. So what's going on right here is you can see that this is kind of obnoxious, and yeah, it will run like oops, yeah, it will run like that because we're printing it out. But what we really want to do is just have it all on one line. So you can see right here, it pins out false, which is the correct output. So there's also single line comments, which are just two double slashes. And we'll put uh, on line four, it prints out noise. I should have a number by commenting it out. So we want to ignore this, we print out noise. So that's how you do a single line comment, just two slashes, meaning that we can type anything here and it'll intake it. Uh, and also a multi-line comment is a slash star, uh, star slash, sorry, slash star star slash, and then you, everything, these are multiple line comments. So select int variable my number, uh, product equal. All right, so we want it, it to equal the product of the two numbers. So we'll say, so same thing with normal variables. So we'll say 34 plus 14. And that should give us 48. Not quite sure what I did for those numbers. Semi equal to the product of two numbers. There we go. Sorry, uh, you have to multiply. I said product. So, yeah, it's multiply, divide, anything like that. So modulo, again, if you're unfamiliar with modulo, basically it just divides a number and it'll let you know if you have a remainder or not, if so, but like what it is. So 
In their example, 15 modulo 6. 15 gets divided by 6 twice, and it has a remainder of 3, so if you were to modulo it, it would return a 3. So, uh... Alright, so it wants us to return a number that returns a modulo of 2. So let's try uh, 12, and we'll mod it by 5, and that should return 2. Goes in twice, so 10 minus, or 12 minus 10 leaves a 2. So, use one of the rational operators to compare any two integers. So, all right, so we'll say 7 is greater than 5. And so what this is going to do is print out true or false. And because 7 is greater than 5, we're going to go ahead and print it out. Print out true, rather. Use equality operator for the two booleans. Uh, so, we're going to say here, this is just like equal equals. This check is true. Um, equal equal to true. And if it is, it's going to print true. Cool. So write a single line comment anywhere you want. We are doing the anticipated Java preview. You know, it's funny, even though Java is my first language I ever really learned, I kind of hate it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I after diving into PHP and JavaScript, JavaScript is what I really like. I know, is it's like, oh man, why aren't we learning JavaScript and jQuery? But I, they have their reasons. All right, so it wants us to set our boolean is complete. There it is, equal to true. Easy enough. Run our code. Uh, set the int variable awesome level equal to 121. That's a pretty high awesome level, if you ask me. And what else? We are also int variable called epic level to be equal to awesome level times two. So this is a nice little thing we can do. So sometimes you need to loop your variables for certain things. So we can just set one equal to times two. And so if awesome level changes, so will our epic level. And then uncomment the last line so the console prints out the last. So remove the multi-line comment. And when we print out, it should print out the epic level. And bam, there it is. We've completed, quote unquote, the Java course preview. So pretty cool stuff. Um, obviously, it was a very basic course. If you've ever done any programming, it should be relatively easy for you. But I absolutely am stoked that they're continuing, continuing to improve their products. You can see all the stuff that we've kind of done so far. Um, so hopefully the, uh, after they put up the MySQL preview, it was about two, three weeks, and then they launched the, um, MySQL course. So I'm hoping the same thing for Java. I'll see you in the next videos. I hope to have those up as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys.